In this box there is a, a serious adding machine and it's a simple slide adder that was made by Master. I already have an other video about the Master and business adding machines and this one is just as weird as those. Uh, Master was based in uh, Liège in Belgium, but here is uh, an office address in uh, Brussels. It was probably made in the 1930s. In the box here is the adding machine itself. It's a very standard slide adder. So if you have a stylus, this is not an original one, you can uh, enter a number by putting the stylus next to the digit you want to add and pulling it down. And the digit is shown in this little window here. So I've now entered 57. To add 2 to this, you just put the stylus in the 2 and again pull down. If you want to add something that would cause a carry, that you can see that because you're then entering the stylus in a position with uh, red uh, teeth here. That means that you can't pull it down but you have to move it up and then go left and down and that hook motion causes the carry to be performed, causes this next digit to be incremented. So uh, to add 70, you put it next to the 7 and move like that. Subtraction is similar but in the opposite direction. To clear this number, there's a handle. You have to uh, turn it until it hits zero and then turn it back clockwise to, uh, to release the uh, slides. So this is all pretty standard and yeah, quite useful as an adding machine. The, uh, the weird part comes with all this. The machine, uh, let me just remove this packing. The machine comes with these uh, rollers and uh, there are two of these and it has uh, this, uh, yeah, these paper strips. It says multiplicande, so multiplier and presumably you're supposed to uh, put a, a paper strip into one of these and you can slide this onto the rails here. That's a bit uh, tricky because it's stiff and it only barely fits. And then we do it the other way around. The thing is, I'm not exactly sure which way round it's supposed to go. The, uh, you can slide one here and you can also insert one down here because there are these uh, yeah these little hooks that can hold one but um, yeah there's clearly a, a slot on one side that the paper goes through so you can uh, roll it onto the yeah onto the cylinder in this in this bit but there's a, a toothed edge here which obviously you can't really use unless you have this at the front and you tear it down but yeah then you just have the paper hanging here with yeah it's a, it's a bit strange and if you have it yeah there's also this this uh, toothed bit here which is on the other side of the the slot you can insert the paper in between the the toothed this toothed uh, bit so that it goes through here and out this side so like that and it goes through here 
and rolls up on here. Now that, that's pretty good, but uh, yeah, essentially it's sort of yeah coming in at a height, so you can't really rest it on anything here. And yeah, if you have both of these attached to this machine, they're sort of right next to each other. And it's really weird and unclear. There's also this piece of metal. I think the idea is that if you have this attached, that you can put this in here somehow, like that, and then slide it along as you're doing a multiplication. So, yeah, you, when you do the hundreds you, or the, the thousands, you can do, add the uh, partial multiplication here, and then shift to the next digit and uh, add the next term here, and so on, so that you can uh, yeah, keep track of where you are. And presumably the paper then also shifts to show yeah, which digit you're working on, but it's really weird and, yeah, overcomplicated. And the thing is, if you have this, this thing in here, this uh, cylinder can't really hold paper because this is where the paper comes out of, or goes into. Uh, so it's utterly confusing, baffling, and not particularly useful. Just as an adding machine, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, this thing also comes with lots and lots of uh, other stuff. Some uh, ads. And yeah, these are really testimonials. For the master. Uh, here's an envelope which contains yeah another uh, another ad little ad booklet for this exact machine. Why do you why you'd need another advert for a machine you've just bought is unclear to me. Here's the uh, guarantee. So uh, yeah, it shows you uh, who put it together and uh, who packed the thing and verified it. Uh, yeah. So this is, uh, yeah, your guarantee. Uh, let's see, does it actually say how long it's guaranteed for? Yeah, for it's guaranteed for three years. Anyway. Ah, yes, this is a, uh, how you're supposed to use the uh, script or I assume that is this, uh, yeah, this whole system with the paper strips and, yeah, the, these rollers. But it's, yeah, it's in French, this one, so. I don't really know. Uh, yeah, here is some other kind of offer for uh, uh, allowing you to exchange this for an electric master machine, if you want that. Or, and also a, a gift, which is, uh, yeah, uh, a calendar and clock and uh, thermometer uh, for on your desk hmm. and here yeah another advert okay here we have the uh, the instruction booklets one in French one in Dutch of course you need both French and Dutch for Belgium the uh, the instruction booklet is all sort of written in the first person, as if the uh, machine is talking to you. So, uh, I don't need any oil or lubrication. 
please don't uh, uh, disassemble me. And uh, yeah, and here it explains how you're supposed to use it. The, uh, the booklet is also available in English, French, German, Scandinavian, Italian, Spanish. And, uh, yeah. And this is the same thing in French. Uh, here's some more stuff. Another advert, essentially, the first few pages pages of the uh, instruction booklet, I am the little serious. And what do you have here? Ah yes, this is the an advert for the uh, electric master I think. Yes, there you go. It's the uh, master machine and you put it, uh, yeah, put it in the uh, electricity socket and all it does is it lights up whether you have to uh, move the, uh, yeah, the stylus upwards or downwards as soon as you enter it. Uh, it's uh, ridiculous. And lastly, here is the, yeah, the receipt. So this was bought on the 31st of January 1937 and uh, yeah that's it lots of stuff that's uh, really of little use to the per person who actually bought this thing and uh, yeah, these multiplication sheets and uh, yeah, the machine itself. It's quite solid with a, a metal base and uh, yeah, as I said, as an adding machine, it's fine, quite quite nice on a desk. But all this extra uh, multiplication stuff is pretty useless. So that was the Sirius adding machine. Thank you for watching.